Hi folks, Ben here from Lancasters. What's more important to you, a cheap fee or more money in your pocket? It's a question to think about. It's something we come across from time to time and I broke this down for a client the other day and their kind of their head exploded when it, the penny dropped. So I thought I'd break it down for you to, to talk you through the, the process of how a good agent is an investment and not a cost, okay? So work with me here. It's a little bit of maths, but it's two minutes out of your life and, and could make you thousands. So, so first of all, let's just look at a sort of an average other agent, you know, a, a normal sort of averagey looking estate agent. Okay. And I'm looking at, I'm using an average house price for the Isle of Wight, which is about 250. Our average sale price is about 322 ish at the moment, but let's just work with Isle of Wight average prices to give you a, you can work this out for yourself on your price point. So, with an average asking price of a house of £250,000, apparently the average agent in the area, according to getagent.com, independently, you know, independent data source, they say, their number not mine, that the average agent achieves 96% of the asking price. Okay, so on a £250,000 house, the average agent gets a, a sale price of 240,000 pounds. All right, you're with me so far on that one? Gives you an idea of sort of, of what independent data says is the, is the average. Now, average fees are a little bit harder to, to work out. They go from half a percent at one end to three and a half percent plus fat at the other end of the scale. Uh, nationally, they vary quite a lot at region to region. There's huge variations, but for the purpose of this exercise, and so we didn't get too caught up in data. I thought I would just give you an example of a really sort of like a cheapy cheap agent at say 1% plus fat, okay? Uh, most agents, uh, most decent agents are considerably above that sort of level, but that's for the purpose of this exercise to make it really obvious, let's choose, let's say you've got yourself a really cheapy cheap agent there at 1%, but obviously you can do your own numbers on this. So, Mr. Cheap Agent, selling at 240,000 uh, pounds, their fee, to you in pounds, shillings and pence is 200, uh, sorry, 2,880 pounds. 2,880 pounds, okay? So from the 240 they sell it for, taking away their fee, that's including VAT by the way, taking away their fee, you are left money in your hand of 237,000 pounds, 120 quid. All right, all make perfect sense uh, with me so far? Cool, all right. So now let's now look at Lancasters and, and our numbers. These are our numbers that I know really well, so I can I can talk you through them. So this is what life at Lancasters looks like. Lancasters up there. So we'll take the same house on at two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Now we are currently midway through September twenty twenty. Trying to keep data. You know, you can always manipulate stats. So I'm trying to keep data as, data as impartial and as current as possible. So we're halfway through September 2020 and I've just worked out our sales for this month so far and what we achieve versus the asking price versus the achieved price. So it's all verifiable data. And we are currently running at 99.4% of our asking prices. Okay, so we're currently achieving 99.4% of our asking prices. So the same house of 250,000 pounds, we achieve on average 248,500 pounds. Cool. Now our fee's higher. So it's nationally average, but compared to Mr. Mr. or Mrs. TPT agent, we are gonna appear a little bit more. We are 1.5% plus VAT all of our fees and prices are published on our website. I think we're the only agent I know that do that. It's about pure transparency. So, and 1.5% plus VAT is 1.8% including the VAT. Okay, so we're super transparent about that. Every single one of our properties is on the same number. We do not negotiate on fees. We can pay more if you like, but but that's, that's it. 1.5%, um, so 1.5% of that number there gives you a fee including VAT of £4,473. 
okay? Now this is the point where if a client isn't, isn't used to the process, doesn't buy and sell houses a lot, doesn't really, is a little bit naive to the market, they just see these two numbers here and go, well, both agents are gonna put it on the market at 250, and this one's gonna charge me 2,800, and this one's gonna charge me 4,400. Uh, that's almost two grand more. Uh, no, stuff that. You know, they, they, make a, they make a decision based on this, which I can tell you is absolutely irrelevant to you and your life. Okay, and this is why. Because if you take our average achieved, you know, verified independent achieved number, of what we achieve, take away our, our fee from that, you are left in your hand with 244,027 pounds. That is the important number. Not this, this is irrelevant. I can charge you a million pounds to sell your house if I like, as long as I can get you a million pounds more than the other guy. All right, that's, this is the bit that matters to you and makes a difference in your life. So on an average Isle of Wight house price, on our current up-to-date, most up-to-date data against independently verified data over here, working with Lancasters leaves you with a profit, we're an investment, there should be a profit, a profit of 6,907 pounds. So the difference between those two figures there that's how much more you come away with in your pocket by spending a little bit more on the way through, you come away with that in your pocket afterwards. And bear in mind, we are a zero risk industry. We're a zero risk business. If we don't actually deliver this, and you don't actually sell with us, we don't charge you a penny, okay? So all you've got to do is trust the system, and this is what our clients get, okay? There's a big difference between a cheap fee and money in your pocket. Buy cheap, buy twice. Invest right, do well, move on.